Hey garden friends, it's the most bittersweet time of the gardening year, hardening off all my babies. I'm so excited that it is warm, that the frost has passed, and by the end of this week, almost all these plants are gonna have their new permanent home out in my garden. But how much do we love the process of hardening them off, right? It's so annoying. So in this video, I'm hoping to share with you the ways that I have found to make that process less of a burden and a little bit more helpful to your plants, at least I think so. So stick around and let's talk about hardening off your babies. If you don't know what hardening off is, it's getting your plants slowly ready to go outside in their new permanent home. If they've been living inside your nice, cozy, perfect environment house, and you were to just throw them directly into the ground outside, it would literally shock them and they could very easily die or just have a lot of damage done to them from the wind, the rain, the differences in temperatures, and for sure, the sun. So they've been on your shelves, they've had their perfect grow lights, they've had their perfect temperature, they had water when they need it, and they're about to go and meet, <laughs> I almost said old man winter, <laughs> but old man winter is gone. They're just about to go out and meet the forces of nature. So we wanna make sure that they are prepared for that and that we warm them up slowly, sort of speak, so that they can handle all the variances that are gonna come their way once they're in the ground. I've heard a lot of different ways to do this and I've done some different ways over the past. And I will just tell you up front that hardening off is a, is a very necessary process. If you don't do it, you very likely will lose the plants that you've worked so hard to grow over the past few months. Um, but it is not a fun process because it generally involves taking your plants from inside, moving them outside for an hour at a time, and then maybe two hours at a time, and having to take them back in. And if you work full time, or if you have other things that you're trying to take care of, it can be really annoying to have to take care of that process. And if you don't set a timer, you will be like me and forget that they are outside. And if they're in the sun, it could very likely kill uh, kill the plant, damage their leaves, um, and that is just not what we want. I think there are frogs amongst us. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. I'm not sure what it is. It sounds like it's coming from my gutters, so maybe a frog? I'm not sure. Anyway, that's the weird noise you're hearing is coming from somewhere up above my head. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about how I've done this in the past. I have for sure taken my plants outside and if they're in a shaded area, I not feel so nervous about them being outside for longer than an hour, um, even on their first day. And you definitely don't want them put, to put them directly in the midday sun. That's going to be like the biggest shock to their system. So you could put them out in the early morning hours. Um, right before you go to work or right when you get up for breakfast or whatever is, you know, makes sense for your schedule, put them out in that early morning sun on the east side of your house or even the west side of their house because they're not going to be getting any sun. But if you want to slowly get them used to the sun, that early morning east side sun is going to be way less intense than even a mid-morning, midday, and definitely afternoon sun. So, I have a tendency to put babies out on my south side of the house in the morning when the sun is less intense. And because I don't necessarily want to move them, what I'll actually do is I'll put up a blockade out here. I have an old sewing board that I use that I will put up to just block that sun as it moves throughout the day. And then by the afternoon, they're getting shade from my house back here. The ones that I have in the sun are the ones that are brand new seedling babies and they will not be affected as harshly as the ones that have been inside for my house, in my house for months. I just planted these within the last week and they've just really got going here in the last couple of days. So for them to be sitting out here in the sun like this is not gonna be as much of a shock to their system. So I have all my new seedling babies um, here more in the in this direct sun. Also uh, some seedlings that have just germinated I've put out in the full sun and then other plants that I've been hardening off um, even with the cooler temperatures. So all of those plants can handle being in the sun uh, for more than an hour at a time. The other thing that I've heard is some people putting out their plants, which I've done this too, in the evening hours. So with the evening hours, the sun again is at quite an angle. So they won't be experiencing that intense direct sunlight when you put them out in the evening hours, although they will have some um, interaction. That's not the word I'm looking for. 
they will have some sun on their leaves, but not that direct, really harsh sun. So you could do early morning or you could do later evening just to get them outside. Now, the other thing to consider is the moving back and forth from in and out of the house. So my suggestion is if your temperatures for the week leading up to when you plan on planting them out are going to be above 50 degrees Fahrenheit, like for sure above 50 degrees Fahrenheit, you can actually set your plants out overnight. And so if you put them out at that later evening hour, you can leave them out overnight and into the next morning and then bring them in once it gets warm. And that's really saving, uh, saving you a trip and saving you some extra work, plus giving them more time to become acclimated. But again, especially with your eggplants and your peppers and your squash and your beans, and your tomatoes can actually handle temperatures in the um, high 40s, so not so much the tomatoes. You really wanna be sure that your aiming temperatures are going to be 50 degrees. I would say 51, if not a little higher, just to make sure, because they don't like when the temperatures dip below. But tonight and tomorrow, and I think the following night, our temperatures are 53 degrees Fahrenheit and above. So I'm planning on leaving these plants out overnight. Now, I did really recently realize that I have a porch over here on the east side of my house that's shaded for most of the day, and it had never occurred to me that might be a really good space to harden up my plants. So I'm gonna move a lot of these plants over to that east side of my house where there's some shade and I don't have to mess with them until I know the temperatures are gonna drop below 50 degrees. And that's gonna save me a lot of time. Then I can leave these plants out that have, like I said, are newly germinated, newly sprouted, or have already been hardening off. I can leave them out over here. And again, won't need to mess with them again, unless the temperatures drop below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So. Those are the things you wanna consider. You can take them outside for an hour and bring them back in. The next day, take them out for you know, two hours and bring them back in. The next day, three hours. And the other suggestion I've heard is to bring them out, let them sit in the shade, then take them back in. The next day, let them sit in the shade longer and then take them back in. Then start introducing them to the sun and let them be in the shade in the sun for a little bit. But trying to keep up with that rigor mortem can be really aggravating. We have 90,000 other things going on in our lives and as much as we love our plants, <laughs> trying to keep up with that is really taxing. So my suggestion is just get them outside in a safe place where there's where they're definitely gonna be in the shade or where you can absolutely monitor um, the, the, the hotter parts of the day. So like I said, either putting them out in the evening where they can um, be outside through the next morning um, or if you put them out in the morning, just give yourself a timer or put them somewhere where they're not gonna be in the sunlight for quite some time. So I hope that makes sense. It's, it's really, it is a matter of timing and there's a sort of a matter of planning, but really just walk around your house before you start the hardening off process and like look for those shady spots where it'd be really easy to set up shop. I have brought out tables before that will stay outside during that hardening off process. So all I have to do is put those plants on that table, especially if you have pets outside that are gonna pester them. You could cover them up at night with a sheet or a frost cloth um, if you're worried about something getting into them. Although I haven't really had that issue in the past, um, even with them being on my front or back porch. Um, either way, there is going to be some planning involved. I always recommend a timer if, you, if you're putting them out when they might have um, that interaction with the direct sunlight. Uh, or just you know making sure you're watching your temperatures so that you know if it's getting too hot or if it's gonna drop too low in the evenings. But by far, my best suggestion is looking at your forecast for the week and picking those days to start doing this process when the evening temperatures are gonna be above 50 degrees Fahrenheit because then you can let them do that overnight, overnight pull, overnight, whatever you wanna call it, haul. <laughs> and then you don't have to worry about them till the next morning. Um, so that is what I have found to be the most helpful. Also make sure they're really well watered because if they're out here with the wind and the sun, um, they may evaporate more or dry out more quickly. And again, with them being a little bit stressed because of the difference in environment, um, that water is gonna be a really good cushion um, for them to not be as stressed uh, whenever the heat picks up or the wind picks up or whatever it is. Now, one thing to be careful of 
is um, hardening off during rainstorms. I do not recommend, if you know it's gonna be a really light rain, that shouldn't affect them. But if you have them sitting in trays like this and the rain comes down, remember that these trays don't drain. So they're gonna flood and eventually your little cells are gonna flood. And if you're not careful, you're gonna lose your plant. And this has happened to me on a number of occasions when I didn't realize it was just going to rain or I forgot I had a tray sitting outside. I had to rescue two trays this morning because I didn't realize it was raining and it washed the dirt out of several of my cells. And um, I'm not sure if some of them are gonna recover, which is a bummer. The rest of them look fine. But I just, unless it's a really light rain, I would not put your seedlings out to harden off um, in a rainstorm because again, they could easily get flooded and washed out of their cells and you do not want that to happen. So pick a shady spot, pick a shady spot that will be shady for most of the day and plan that time to put them out. Put them out in the evening um, and you can let them be outside through the evening if your temperatures are 50 degrees or above. But I will tell you that tomatoes and some herbs can handle temperatures dipping down into the mid to higher 40s. So I have a night coming up this week that it's 47 degrees and I'm gonna leave my tomatoes out. Uh, but I will be ringing in my peppers, eggplants, squash, and melons, and I don't have any beans planted yet, but if I had beans, I'd be bringing those in too. And then just look at your 10 day forecast, pay attention to the temperatures, don't leave them out in the rain, and set a timer if you do decide to do like the hour out, hour in, two hours out, two hours in, especially if you know that the sun's um, shade you know, shade angle is gonna be changing throughout the day. Don't put them out on that west side of your house and forget they're out there. And actually, you know, they're being scorched by the afternoon sun. I've done that too. <laughs> so take it from my advice. Those are my top tips for you. Um, I, in fact, am going to be moving some of these plants here after this video to my east porch so where they can just stay out there pretty much for the week. And then they will be ready to go out in the garden uh, at the end of the week. Now, some of you may be asking, well, how many days do you harden them off? I generally say about a week is good. So my plan, it's Sunday today, my plan is to start harding them off today. They should, for the most part, be able to stay in the shade all day um, for the next few days. And by the end of the week, they should be fine to go out in the garden. Now, if Saturday was gonna be a scorching hot day, I might consider waiting till I knew it was gonna be a little more cloudy or maybe I would transplant them at the end of the day so they're not getting that really hot sun while I'm transplanting them. That is something to consider. Transplanting your plants in the early morning or in the late afternoon, evening, so when it's less hot. But of course that does depend on your region. Here in Michigan, the evenings are cooler. If I were in Oklahoma, the evenings would probably still be scorching hot. So you kind of have to make that judgment call depending on your region and what your typical days are like here in May or whenever you're hardening off your plants. If you have any questions that I may not have covered in this video, feel free to post them below and I will definitely get feedback to you about things that I've experienced um, that I may not have talked about in this video, but this has been my best way to do this where it's not annoying, where I'm not going in and out of my house with all these plants. Now, initially I am. Initially I have to do bring them all back in. And when those temperatures drop or if the sun gets too hot, I'll generally just move them to another shaded spot instead of bringing them in the house or um, bring them in the house if the temperatures below, drop below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So find the shade, watch your temperatures outside and give them a good water, pay attention to your timer and to the sun, and you should be fine. Don't be surprised if you lose a couple. That's kind of part of the process, especially if you're new at this, but even being an old hack, <laughs> ever so often I'll lose one plant that I just didn't pay attention to or got too much sun or not enough water. But for the most part, I've had a lot of success, even in the beginning, hardening off my plants. So again, my name is Landon Gilfillan here at Pepper and Pine Garden Design. Good luck hardening off your babies and I'll see you in the next video.